I'm Mr. Morrison. Welcome to my Garage Band lessons. This is lesson one, getting started. Today we're learning to create a simple song using Garage Band. We're hoping to explore the Garage Band app, create a simple drum beat, create a simple song using single notes, and experiment with some of the instrument sounds. So let's get straight in and go to the Garage Band app. I'm first going to show you what we can do with the garage band up and what we'll work up to be able to do within these lessons. So here I have a song that I have created using garage band. Let's have a listen. Okay, so I think you get the idea of that. So hopefully, we're not going to create this in lesson one, but we're going to work up to be able to create this kind of song. Now, if I go, I'm going to show you the garage band up. So it looks like this when you have it open. Um, you might open up to a song if somebody's been on there before. You might also open up to this menu that shows you different instruments. But what we want to do is go to the paper icon that opens all the songs and we're wanting to create a brand new song. So I'm going to create a brand new song here and it opens me up and I can choose the instruments that I want to use. Now today you might have heard in that song that there was lots of different uh, instruments in there. Today we're just going to focus on the drums and the keyboard. Now. This app is really clever because you don't actually need to be really good with music. Actually, you don't really need to have any music at knowledge at all to be able to create a track that sounds good. So I can show you. So within the drums, we have what's called acoustic drums. So if we were going, if you knew how to play the drums properly, you could probably come up with a really good beat using all the different bits. But I'm assuming most of us don't know how to play the drums properly. But there is this thing called the beat sequencer. So within the beat sequencer, you can see down the side, I have the different um, parts of the drum kit that you saw in that previous picture. I've got the bass drum, I have a snare, I have clapping, I've got a couple of cymbals, and then I have the tom, uh, tom drums here and clicking the uh, drumsticks together. Now I can change voices of this but today we're just going to leave it with how it opens up and you notice I have lots of boxes along here. Now music is usually split down into what's called beats so it is usually a beat is a steady um, pace of the music so in marching bands for example uh, like a pipe band there'll be a beat that they march to and that's, that's what's within the music. In other music, like rock music, you'll still be able to hear a beat. Maybe if you have time, you could listen to some pieces of music with your teacher and look at beats. But today, we're going to create a really simple beat in here. So I am going to highlight the, first, the fourth box alone. Now you hear, that's now showing a drum. I'm going to highlight the eighth box as well. And you see it's repeating. This is called a loop. So repeating. And then I'm going to choose the snare drum and choose the fourth again. Okay, so I've got a little loop now. I am going to add a symbol in the fourth here. Now there's a reason why I've chosen fourth one each time uh, because it is and uh, the way that the, the beats are set up it makes it really easy for us to put something on top once we get more complicated you can add beats in different parts of this as well but try and add that beat rhythm that I have just put in you could choose um, a clap instead of the hi-hat it doesn't matter too much then up here 
I'll show you the menu. This menu comes up in every part of GarageBand. You've already seen the two in the top corner to get back to the home parts. This has a little bit of um, settings. We have a back arrow and we have a return to start, a play and a record. So if I press play, there's a stop button comes back and then a return to start. Now you notice this thing that looks like a ruler is showing that going back to the start. So this is split into what's called bars and for each bar there's a number. So we're going to just have it at, set at eight bars today and then we have a little volume control here and some more settings. But today we're going to make sure it's back at number one and we're going to record this. So if I press the record button, and this will record it up to the eighth bar. And we can press stop when it goes green because that means it's recorded our first bit. So that's the first step, we have a beat. Now we're going to play something over the top. Now you notice a extra icon has appeared here that looks maybe like a brick wall. We're going to click on it and this is our tracks together. Right at the start when I showed you my uh, other song, there was all the different tracks down here. Well, we're going to create a second track here. So if I press the plus button, we're going to go to keyboard and within keyboard, we're just going to click keyboard and it opens up. Hopefully it'll have opened up in the electric piano. If it hasn't, click here and find the one that says electric piano and we can play the piano. I may be going to increase the volume a little bit. Okay, so we're going to play about with creating some notes over the top. We're going to use where it says C, we're going to try and use C, D, E, maybe F and G as well. None of the black notes, just the white notes. So let's go back to the start and we're going to play and I'm going to try and play something over the top. Okay, so I had something there. You can play about with that for as long as it takes for you to practice a little, um, what you'd almost call a riff, a little bit of a tune to put over the top of this. So what I'm going to do is I am going to press the record button and then I'm going to play. It's going to give me a count. So I'll get my finger ready. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to play it back. Now I feel I wasn't quite in time, so I'm going to press undo and I'm going to try again. hear my music playing back and I think it's okay so I've created a little bit of a tune. So now that I've created my tune I can have a play about with the different instrument sounds. So if I if I click on the electric piano, if I go back to the piano and I click on the electric piano I can have a different um, type of instrument. So I might want uh, the wave bells instrument. Let's have a listen to this. And there you go. So have a play about with that. You can also change 
the sound the drums make as well. If we go into the drums, and there's a little uh, thing here where you can change the drums. I create a two track song and see how it sounds. Make sure at the end, of course, that you can save it and you can name it your name. So if I rename this as uh, Mr. Morrison Lesson 1, there you go. 